For years, Hollywood has teased our imaginations with different types of augmented reality devices. Whoa. Most of them are glasses, but some companies want to take that concept a step further and put the metaverse directly on your eye with something like this. One of those companies is Inwith Corporation with this electronic contact lens. These are soft contact lenses designed with solid components and circuits into the hydrogel. The idea is the lenses would work with your phone or another dedicated mobile device to show you a heads up display. You'll be able to see things such as what is the speed limit on this road? What direction am I heading? Uh, where is the next exit? How many miles away? That's in with CEO Michael Hayes. I had the chance to talk to him about the lenses and what they could show you. Your imagination can go wild, but the bottom line is everything that you can do on your smartphone, theoretically, will be able to be cast into your field of vision. And that's just the what's called the augmented re reality, you know, the overlay aspect of the metaverse, of the real world. But then there's the immersive uh, aspect where uh, you'll be able to also have display that literally takes over your entire retina in both eyes, as if you had Oculus goggles on. There's a, a huge market in the very beginning for this uh, device to help people that are uh, going presbyopic with their aging eyes uh, so you don't have to wear multifocals or readers anymore. You'll be able to have the ability to see close-up items or myopic, you know, myopic or, or uh, presbyopic uh, uh, applications uh, without having to wear any readers or glass, you'd be able to tune your vision, so to speak, with a mobile device. I wear contacts and I can remember when I was first learning to put them in, how hard it was for me to get used to putting them in my eyes. And honestly, I was really freaked out about putting them in my eyeball. Do you worry that some people are gonna be hesitant about putting an electronic device on their eye? I think there will certainly be some uh, concern and resistance by some people in the beginning. But when you compare some of the things that have become acceptable in the human body uh, that are electronically based, for instance, pacemakers, um, other implantable devices, as well as uh, you know, the intraocular lens uh, technology, which replaces your, for cataract surgery, replaces your entire crystalline lens. There's a lot of uh, things that people are willing to do to improve their visual experience. And I think that once they put on the lenses and they, and they feel that they are comfortable and that they feel a, a very much exactly like what they're used to wearing, um, then I think uh, they'll, they'll realize that uh, there's not a boogeyman. Uh, behind the lenses. And the electronics uh, that will be in the lenses are of such a small scale that uh, we believe that there will be no issues with that because it's fully encapsulated into the contact lens and then coated, the, the, the electronics are, are coated themselves inside the contact lens. Hayes couldn't give me specifics on the exact state of the technology and testing right now, but he says they're hoping for FDA approval this year. If this concept looks and sounds familiar, you may have caught Jesse's video on Mojo Lens. Now that's a similar concept, but that's a hard lens. Inwith Corp says it's the only company so far that's able to do this with a soft contact lens. And given that 80% of contact lenses prescribed in the US are soft lenses, that could be a significant advantage when trying to convince people to adopt this tech into their everyday lives. And these are daily disposable contacts. They're not something that you would have to hang on to for a year or more at a time. Now, no specifics on price either, but Hayes did say, at least initially, he expects them to cost about double the price of regular disposable contacts, with the price dropping as more people adopt them. So tell me what you think. Are you willing to put electronic devices in your eyes for the promise of on-demand access to the metaverse and potentially a lot more? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like it.